In this video we'll be looking at lattice graphics and how we can use them to create a box and whisker plot in R. To illustrate creating box and whisker plots we'll be looking at metrological data from the UK recorded at the Southampton weather station between 1950 and 1999. This data is available from the UK Met Office website. So first up what does the data look like? Well we've got it in a CSV file so we can see we've got information about the year, the month recorded as a number, maximum minimum temperature and so on. So as this is stored in a separate text file we will load it in and save it as a data frame. We'll make use of the read.csv function where we specify the name of the data file where we've got the information stored which is metdata, southampton-metdata.csv and it's often useful just to say print the first 10 rows of the data using the square bracket notation to see whether the data has loaded in as expected. So to the left of the comma we have a list of rows we're interested in and to the right of the comma a list of columns. If either of those are blank that means that we want all of the rows or columns. Now as we can see the month is recorded as a number rather than a text string so to ensure that we have this recorded as a uh, text string on our graphs we convert month to a factor. So the way we do this is to use the function factor so we specify the column we want to change zotton.df dollar month and we want to overwrite it with this new factor the labels specify the text strings to correspond to the different numbers that appear in the data. Submit that command, no errors or warnings, so we're good to go. So we attach the lattice graphics package first of all so that we can actually create the box and whisker plot and then we make use of the function bwplot which is the implementation of box and whisker. So first up we specify formula to indicate what variables are going to appear on the graph. So our y variable is the maximum temperature and our x variable is the month in which the measurement was made. We then just need to specify where the data will be extracted from so we use the data argument to specify our data frame. So what we can also do is we can change the axis labels so on the x-axis we can specify that it says month and on the y-axis maximum temperature. So we submit that command and we can see that we've got our box and whisker plot here as we would expect. Now what we could also do is to make use of a panel function. Panel function specifies what function is used to create the graph in each of the individual panels which is most useful when you're doing conditioning plots with the lattice graphics. So what we can do here is use panel.violin which is a violin plot which is an alternative to the box and whisker plot. So this provides a bit more information about the distribution of the data across that month. 